welcome everybody, Soden of the Grim Brothers here, and it's time for another episode of Tea Time. Now then, for today's Tea Time, I am just having Melbourne breakfast once again. Uh, a tea I've had before, and I've had it having it the exact same way with milk. The reason for this is I'm trying something a little different with this Tea Time. It's going to be similar in some ways to... Uh, certain tea times where I've reacted to things and sort of posted up videos, the part of the videos of my reaction and various clips from my reaction, much like with, say, the Nintendo Switch presentation, for instance. However, I've condensed the reaction a bit more this time, and there'll be a period after the reaction when I've had time to sort of take it all in and share my thoughts on the stuff that I saw, you know, so that it's not all just pure my first thought reactions on it. Some of it will actually be, um, sort of uh, thought out opinions of what has actually just, uh, what I've just saw and won't just be reaction, it will also be sort of discussion as it were. Self discussion, but discussion nevertheless. Um, so I'm going to see how it goes. Who knows what time I'll actually be able to get back to record my uh, later thoughts on what I saw, but hopefully it won't be too long after uh, I actually sort of react to the initial video in the first place. I hope you'll enjoy my reactions because the reactions are to the Nintendo Arms Direct, the latest one, not the previous one, the one that they've decided to air in May. It's really nice to see Nintendo have decided to have uh, promote Arms quite a bit. They've got a second Nintendo Direct dedicated to it, which is really nice, and I mean really dedicated to it. In any case, uh, let's go on with me reacting to it then. Oh wow, that's tired all of a sudden. I was not expecting that. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's uh, get straight on to the Arms Direct, the specifically Arms Direct here. The gift of arms. I hope the TV's not too loud. More than mere limbs, capital A R M S can extend like springs, an unusual ability shrouded in mystery. Oh my gosh! A mutation, or the result of extraterrestrial experimentation, we may never know. What the? Historians have attempted to pinpoint the origin, but each attempt has ended in failure, as if held back by an invisible hand. Despite what? The nature of this ability, it's well this is bizarrely deep lore for a game of slingy arms. This is this is so weird. Arms. Wow, uh, the the character more the fans remind me of Wonderful 101 character for some reason. Oh, what? What? Arms fighters, Springman, had this to say. I was shocked at first, but having arms like this is actually pretty rad. <laughs> you woke up one day to suddenly have springs for arms. What? Oh, yeah. I'm Biff, Someone woke up one day to have noodles for arms. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure the mummy was probably always like that because it's a mummy. Fisticuffs. Oh, but they could have called the game Fisticuffs. Okay, the weight's a new one, because the attributes uh, have been brought up before, but the weight? No, that's entirely new. Oh yeah, that's a pretty cool thing, having the sort of punches collide. I wonder if the heavier weights can overpower the light- Oh yeah, they can! Oh, that's awesome! That's a, that's a really good benefit to have the heavier weight arms have, because usually the heavyweight characters, they often have a bit of a disadvantage. Yeah, blind, the most normal attribute. I'm element of blind. You combine fire, electric, all that. You know, you get Captain Planet. Captain Planet's blind. That, that, everyone knows that. Oh, I like how it applies to actual gameplay of that. That's pretty cool. Or as Springman would put it, pretty rad. Springman is the most generic one, but he still has the trademark of having toothpaste for hair. Ironically, I missed out the part where I'm assuming that she doesn't actually have stretchy arms herself and it's actually a robot. I, I must have missed that part. I think, once again, I took over the interesting character lore that I should have probably been listening to. <laughs> oh, that would be such a good counter for Helix. Such a good counter. I'm already sort of looking at things. That's a good counter pick. Counter pick against Helix. Go Mechana. Get homing missile arms. Apparently I saw people comment that Ninja is a bit of a nerd. Ninja is competing as his yeah. Senior project. Went to Wait, went to Ninja University and uh, likes hiding and reading and yeah, he's a nerd. Complete nerd. 
Oh, Master Mummy, I think he's the one I'm most interested in so far. Let me hear this a little bit. What? Okay, and things just skipped over there. Sorry about that. Also, uh, apologies if the resolution's low. I don't know what's happening there. Oh, oh there's a springy cobweb center. That's uh, interesting. Phoenix, that's a... Oh, to be fair, you come back from the dead, so, you know. I guess that makes sense as a name for one of his fists. A surprising fire theme with him. Wasn't expecting that. Oh my gosh, a new character. I was expecting that kid Cobra. Oh my gosh, G.I. Joe. Oh my gosh, that is such a cool stage. You're riding on Beyblades. Go Beyblade. Oh, it's not constantly. I match, rank match, friends and local. Ooh. Oh, wow. First, the most Hoops, mode. skill shot. Oh, gosh, there's a lot of different modes. Oh, gosh. Huh. Oh, and the healing limbs are actually done in a sort of dome thing. It's not picking them up. That's, that's awesome. Oh, my gosh. They've got volleyball. What well, every fine game needs. I mean, Tekken proved that it goes really well with it. And Dead or Alive has proved it goes really well with having volleyball. Though, not for quite the same reasons. Although, if you look up Ribbon Girl and... Uh, Min Min, you really wouldn't notice the difference. And oh my gosh, you get to throw people with basketballs. That is awesome, and that would be very entertaining trying to do about Mummy Man, Mummy Master, and Mechanica, given the so much. Oh, awesome! Oh my gosh. That, okay, so what? So if you get more of the same, you get stronger and stronger and stronger, so you can find a good arm. You actually want repeats? Oh my gosh, that's really cool. Hey, you get random loot drops. We, we had, what, five last time? So there could be five more? That would be, like, what, three more characters? I see repeat arms, but it's actually the hands which change. The arms are the one consistent thing. Seriously, they should have called it fisty cuffs instead. It's the fists which are changing all the arms. The arms stretch and all, but it's the fists which are different each time. Ah, Min Min, she is very, very popular. Nothing but new characters now, then. Oh, oh, of course, there's Helix. How do you accidentally engineer something like that? Wait, what? What? Oh, like the new stage. Okay, so robots are allowed. Robots also can gain the mystic ability of arms, which apparently people were just born with someday, which apparently this robot was born with someday. And the robot has a dog with him. Okay, that, that looks hilarious. That is a really inventive idea. Oh, another new one. She's drinking tea like me! She's... Her hair is her arms, but she's also got arms! Okay! Fair enough, then. Fair enough. She, she drinks tea, so she's already pretty cool in that regard. Okay, go on, mate. You know, the whole tea angle and the parasol. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm fairly interested in this character. I think I'll try Master Mummy out still first. All the new characters are so unique, it's awesome. It's a little bit of a shame that Springman's the uh, clearly evident sort of mascot character they intended, given he's the most generic out of all of them, but I guess that makes him the easiest for beginners. Was there 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10, yeah. So I'm assuming Shadow version of yourself will be one of them then. Oh, and you do the uh, other sort of modes. Oh! Boss opponent. You can do co-op Grand Prix? That's awesome! Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I didn't really get that far with Pocket Tournament. I was winning almost the majority of my matches. But I haven't played it in a while. I need to get back to doing that. But yeah, ARMS is definitely something I'm willing to take on ranked. Um, yeah, ARMS is actually the Nintendo Switch game I'm looking forward to most of all, I'd say. Um, mainly because I don't know much about Octopath Traveler yet. But yeah, really looking forward to ARMS. And this uh, Direct is just making me look forward to it even more. Final announcement! Well, Order the day of June 16th. Almost. So, this just in from arms well, they can announce Amiibo, I'm assuming? Apparently arms will continue to offer free updates with new fighters, oh, yep, yeah. so the Splatoon model. The yeah, the Splatoon model for get, launching this again. Oh! Arms test <laughs> it test punches at a test fire. Okay, Saturday, Sunday! Saturday, Sunday! Definitely gonna try these out! Woo! 
Keep those in mind, people! My Melbourne breakfast tea was lovely, by the way. And we are back! So then, my thoughts of the ARMS Nintendo Direct. Well, as you can probably tell from my reactions, I enjoyed it quite a bit, and I am looking forward to ARMS quite a lot. It is, as I've probably mentioned within the uh, reaction, in my most anticipated Nintendo Switch game. Um, again, it's because Octopath Traveler hasn't exactly had much revealed on it yet, but ARMS, really excited for it. Um, it is definitely, although the inspiration for the core, core gameplay uh, could have come from anywhere, I have to look up uh, the... They've explained already where the core ideas sort of came from, but clearly in the way they present the game and the way they're marketing the game, they're clearly inspired from the success of Splatoon. I mean, the cloakable test punch makes it very obvious, but the colour of the game and the way it handles lore with a sort of, there's a sort of deep aspect to it, but it's also very goofy and can be brushed aside very easily, is all very Splatoon-like. A lot of the game's atmosphere and even the sort of 90s attitude is very reminiscent of Splatoon, so... Uh, it's kind of like they took Splatoon and decided to make it into a fighting game. It is literally that basis. You could easily swap the two round in terms of uh, when they came out, and it really wouldn't have differed that much. I mean, of course, there's of course the uh, consoles that they were designed around. This is definitely designed around Nintendo Switch having motion controls, much like the Wii Remote. And at that, having motion controls where you have the Wii Remote and Nunchuck, well, the two Joy-Cons, as standard from the get-go, rather than having to buy them separately. As for characters, well, there's a lot of characters I really like. Um, I do feel Springman is a bit generic, but I do. I've all the characters. Kid Cobra seems the one I forget about the most, which is very strange because he's got the coolest stage of all. I'm absolutely loving the Kid Cobra stage. In terms of characters I want to play as, um, I seem to have a different reason for liking Twin Tail than most people. I like her because she drinks tea. Um, but a lot of people seem to like her for her posterior, which I don't really get, but a hey, power to them and whatnot. But the character which interests me the most is probably still Master Mummy. I like that I want to play as a tanky fire for once, and I like like the mummy design he's got going, and I like that he heals health and guarding. Uh, Ribbon Girl also still has my interest, and Bite and Bark, I'm not sure if I'd use them, but I definitely want to try them out. They're definitely interesting. But for the test fire that's coming up, well, sorry, not test fire, global test punch, I think I'll be trying out Master Mummy primarily. I think it's only the first sort of six characters they revealed. It, the, none of the new characters they revealed at, well, first seven. None of the new characters they revealed within the Nintendo Direct are available in the Global Test Punch. And me commenting on which characters are available in the Global Test Punch is probably be a good indicator of how long I've had to wait until I could record this. I've, things just got in the way. Um, as for the game modes, Arcade mode, I'm really glad at what I've seen of it. I like the how it appears to have uh, the mini games incorporated into it. Unless the it was just a basketball stage that I was seeing. I'm hope I thought I saw hoops, uh, the mini game hoops, uh, actually being part of the arcade gameplay, and that'd be really cool if they could incorporate hoops and V-ball and the shooting gallery into the arcade gameplay to spice it up a little bit in the middle of all the matches. <coughs> 1v100 is, of course, a very natural fit for that sort of idea as well. Um, why well, I've got some worries about the arcade mode. I'm really happy they haven't tried to go with a big fleshed out sort of story mode like, say, the recent Injustice 2. ARMS obviously doesn't have enough characters to really pull that sort of thing off anyway. Um, and I really do miss sort of classic arcade modes where you sort of play through it and get each character's individual backstories, which is what I'm really hoping for. I'm hoping we get a character intro and a character ending uh, specific to each character when you play through the arcade mode. I don't want to sort of like uh, just a single ending or single opening. I want it to be personalised for each character that you play as. Because that gives me real drive to end up playing through the uh, arcade mode as every single character. And in fact it gives me more sort of a drive to play through an arcade mode than it does a story mode where you have all the characters together really. Yeah, so in general I really like ARMS. I really like what I've seen. I'm really looking forward to the global test punch. Can't wait to get to try that out. Um, I'll have to clear room in this game room because there is not enough room for me to stand up and throw punches out. So yeah, yeah, re really like what I got to see. Uh, some concerns still, but most of the concerns will probably be, you know, even if uh, there is sort of like the arcade mode isn't fully to my liking. Uh, some of it will be alleviated by having a good online mode. Hopefully it'll connect very well wherever I end up uh, having to play it. 
in this room isn't exactly a great place to play at the moment, but Nintendo are improving the online capabilities of Switch day after day, and hopefully by the time that ARMS comes out, or later into the ARMS lifetime of this year, it'll be good enough where I can actually connect properly within this room, within the game room. And um, really like the Direct, I felt they showed off an awful lot. And um, I really like that it's going to come up with uh, new content in future. It'll be interesting to see what kind of content they'll be trying to reel out first, whether they'll immediately try to reel out character content. Um, I think uh, something that they never did with the original Splatoon, it'd be really neat if they could uh, reel out some additional single player content, maybe a new mode or, you know, even further difficulties for people who end up uh, managing to clear the uh, sort of higher difficulties of, say, 1 and V100 and uh, hoops and such, you know, higher difficulties opponents for, you know, the people who really sort of end up mastering the sort of mechanics. In case, yeah, those are my thoughts of the Arms Direct, and now I shall move on to reacting to the Splatoon 2 trailer. That said, I won't be posting any sort of deep thoughts on it, because Splatoon 2, I'm waiting until Christmas to eventually get it anyway. That's uh, long since been uh, decided. Arms, I'm a bit more encouraged to sort of get straight away, because uh, this is something that motivates me more about it. I'm a pre I tend to prefer fighting games anyway. Even though Splatoon, the original Splatoon was a 9 out of 10 for me, one of my favourite Wii U games. So. Oh, and to no surprise, the Melbourne breakfast tea that with milk that I liked before, in my previous tea time when I had Melbourne breakfast tea with milk, I like still. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to end it with the Splatoon 2 trailer, so here is where I'll say cheerio. Hope you all enjoyed. And I just managed to get this uh, the thing named just to do the thing, Splatoon 2 TT. Hope that didn't erase anything. I'd be really annoyed if it did. But I don't think I've named anything like that. Oh, wow, the plaza's gone a lot bigger. I'm not as interested in Splatoon 2 on the basis that I'm not going to get it until Christmas. Because hopefully by then, the online will be uh, better updated. Ah, oh, she's, she's about Callie, the better squid sister. I'm still sticking with that. Callie's the best squid sister. And it seems Marie's in the role of the story guy, like Captain Kettlefish. This is a single player story trailer. The Octarians are still not playable. Ha ha. Please announce cop story mode. I really enjoyed the single player mode of uh, Splatoon 2, even though our Grim Brothers playthrough of it was a bit of a disaster. Oh gosh, that looks disgusting. Ugh. Like so, the sort of uh, being able to ride on the rails and shoot at the same time. Go super moves and fight off. And oh gosh, the ah oh, Sheldon's helping you out. That's pretty cool. Well, helping himself out by getting practical data. Still not a fan of how the roller, the new change to the roller with it uh, doing the whole um, vertical strike rather than horizontal. Bosses, bosses, boss on a unicycle, trying to just crush you to death there. Oh, no Callie on the artwork. Just Marie. Unless that was Callie in the background with the shades, but that'd be a surprise. Yeah, a bit of a small trailer, not really much to it. I guess this was just to get people to watch the arms part, which for me wasn't needed because arms, I was full in wanting to uh, sort of watch the, all the stuff about arms because it was, you know, uh, prior to the Direct, the Nintendo Switch game I was most looking forward to. Because again, I haven't heard uh, much about Octopath Traveler yet. Um, but after watching the direct, it's def Arms is definitely the um, thing I'm looking forward to.